Iran, Venezuela, Nicaragua, Cambodia, Pakistan, India, Bolivia, Turkey, the Philippines, Nepal. These are some of the cheapest countries to travel in 2019. Alright guys, so if you're looking for cheap places to travel around the world in 2019, say your budget's as little as $10 a day or $50 a day, these are some of the places you can go. Iran is one of the most over underrated countries in the world to travel to. It has phenomenal hospitality, the people there are beautiful, the culture there is beautiful, the women there are beautiful, everything there is just phenomenal. It's a phenomenal place to travel. Um, backpackers across all Iran can experience like traveling, getting your food, maybe a beer or two, everything for as little as ten dollars a day. And half the time when you're you're going around the country, people will just offer you free food or free place to stay. They just have really good hospitality there. And then there's Venezuela. Venezuela is a great country to travel to as well. The U.S. dollar can go for I think it's like a hundred U.S. dollars on the black market will get you about two pounds, two pounds of cash, like just a stack of cash, just so much. Uh, and you can get, I think it's about probably 50 to 60 beers for one dollar. One US dollar can get you enough beers to drink for like two or three weeks. Like plenty, plenty of beer for, for next to nothing. You can get places to stay for as little as like 50 cents a dollar a night, but you can get like a five star hotel for little, as little as two dollars a night. Taxis will charge you about 25 cents. Um, just make sure you're not getting ripped off. You can do like a multi-day trek, you know, in the mountains or um, go on some adventure for maybe 70 to 120 dollars. If you really want to go out and party hard, you can party for as little as five dollars a night. If you're in search for like a good adventure, Venezuela is the country for you. Now, Nicaragua. Nicaragua is also a really cool country to travel to. You can definitely get a room for about $10, $10 less a night. Um, expect to eat your food for under a dollar in a restaurant, maybe less if you, um, if you get on the street food or if you get it at your, your hostel or whatnot. Maybe they have a free meal or something. If you compare it to like Belize, Costa Rica, um, some of the other countries around it, it's it's one of the cheapest countries to travel to in, in Central America. Alright guys, then there's Cambodia. Cambodia is also a phenomenal country to travel to. Um, it is, it's not as cheap as it used to be. When I was there last year, it was in 2017. Um, your money went pretty far, but the money went further in, you know, Vietnam or in Nepal. We'll talk about Nepal and India later. Your money definitely goes further there. But it is a cheap country to travel to. Um, you can get a room, a budget room for as little as maybe 50 cents at a hostel or a dollar or two uh, if you're trying to get, you know, on the lower end. But you can definitely get a decent place to stay for three to four dollars depending on your comfort zone. But it is definitely like one of the one of the cheaper places to travel in Southeast Asia. Uh, I mean, Laos, Vietnam, uh, Nepal and India would definitely say are cheaper, but it is, you know, a cheap place to go to. Now Pakistan. Pakistan might not be one of the countries that you think would be a good place to travel to or a cheap place to travel to, but the mountains in Pakistan are like, like definitely one of the best in the world. The, hosp the hospitality in this country is super great. The people are phenomenal. Um, transportation can add up, but you can often hitchhike in this country. It's super easy to hitchhike. People often, you know, it's kind of like Iran. They'll often offer you places to stay or give you food and whatnot and. Um, they're just like super family oriented, really good people. Definitely, definitely a great place to travel in 2019. Oh, India. India is a great country to travel to. Um, I've had good and bad experiences in this country. It's like a love and hate relationship, but you can definitely travel across the country for as little as $10 a day. If you're traveling for a year or two years, you can definitely travel in the country for you know less than, less than four grand a year. Four grand, four four thousand U.S. dollars for an entire year. Um, you could probably travel for half that if you're really pushing the numbers. But um, to travel fairly comfortably and whatnot, you can travel for as little as you know, like eight to to fifteen dollars a day. Definitely a cool place to travel. But go up to Pakistan. It's not as busy busy with tourism. You're not gonna get ha um, hassled as much by the locals. They try to sell you this and sell you that and tell you you need a permit for this and 
Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to talk you out of talk, going to India. India is a great place to travel to. I'm definitely going to spend probably another year or two exploring this great country. But um, but it is it is uh, it's got a lot of pros and it's got a lot of cons. Average cost for a room in in India, you'd spend maybe two to five dollars a night. Um, for food, you'd spend at a restaurant maybe one to three dollars. I've got a meal for as little as I think I think it was ten rupees. That's so around fifteen or sixteen cents for uh, a meal on uh, on the street. You want to make sure in a lot of these countries that you're um, watching the other people buy things. Whenever other people, especially in India, Nepal, and a lot of these other countries, um, there's the tourist price and then there's the local price. So I always watch other individuals pay for something. Say you're on a bus or if you're at um, a vendor or whatnot. If you want, if there's other people buying things, be like, okay, cool, I'll go buy something here. Um, and if you see them pay, say, 10 rupees for the meal and the guy tries to charge you 100 rupees, be like, no, 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 you just, you don't say anything, you just hand him the 10 rupees and you point to the other people and whatnot and be like, they pay 10 rupees. We're like, oh, I don't speak English and be like, all right, then I'm not buying the food. But then eventually they'll relent and they'll, they'll let you uh, pay the, the local price. Bolivia, Bolivia is also a really cool country to travel to in South America. Um, I don't know if it's very, it's definitely a little bit more safer to travel to than Venezuela. If you're not a kind of a veteran backpacker, um, I would, if you're traveling solo for the first time or something, I'd recommend Bolivia over, over Venezuela. Venezuela is, um, a little bit more, can be a little bit more intense, but you definitely get your, your, your buck can go pretty far there. Um, but it is definitely an epic and phenomenal country to travel to. It is less, um, less busy with tourists compared to Peru and Brazil and some of the neighboring countries, but you can still get a great price there for, uh, you can get a meal for maybe two, three dollars. Um, you can get a room for about five or less, depending on how, how much you, you spend. You can get, or where you're trying to go, a hotel versus a hostel. You can get a, like a few day tour to go see the giant salt flats and whatnot, which is super beautiful, totally worth it. Um, that would cost you anywhere from, you know, 80 to $120, but it is a little bit more expensive for something like that, but it's only like 33-ish dollars a day, uh, but it's totally worth it if you're, if you're in, um, if you're in Bolivia. Then Turkey. Turkey is a super cool country to travel to, great place to hitchhike in. Um, it is, it's like a great in between, between Asia or Southeast Asia, the Middle East and Europe. Um, your money goes super far when you're in, in Turkey compared to Northern, Western Europe and whatnot. And it's just a great back, backpackers place to go in, uh, um, in Central, Central Middle East, um, you know, Western, Northern, Southeast Asia. It's like the, if you go to Istanbul, Istanbul is like that classic, um, bridge like the gap between the Middle East and you know Middle East which is in Asia technically and Europe anyway it's a great place to travel to definitely definitely worth checking out and then the Philippines the Philippines is a super cool place to travel to um, Manila is super expensive if you can stay out of Manila awesome you it's definitely you know get out of Manila as quick as possible there's just so much to do in the Philippines. The people are phenomenal, super nice, always joking around. They'll, they'll definitely take care of you. I mean, I mean, always be careful, but like, um, they're definitely like good-hearted, great people in, in uh, the Philippines. Uh, Manila, you can still get a place for like $20 a night, $30 a night, but once you get out of Manila, you can get places for anywhere from two to $5 for a hostel or maybe $10 for a decent, nice hotel. And then one of my favorite places to travel to so far, I'm definitely going to go spend a lot more time there, um, is Nepal. Nepal is super cool. Nepal is like, once you get out of Kathmandu, which Kathmandu is phenomenal. I love Kathmandu. One of my favorite hostels in the world is in Kathmandu. I think it's Shanti Prudu Hostel in Kathmandu. You can stay there for as little as $2 a night. You can definitely find places um, that aren't on Hostel World or other places that are, are cheaper, maybe a dollar or... Um, when you get out of Kathmandu, it's much more cheaper. You can go to a tea house and whatnot. But if you go to a tea house, you know, one of the nicer places, you could spend maybe $20 a day. But if you negotiate and barter with them, tell them, hey, I'll buy all my meals here at the tea house. Maybe the meals are 7 or $8 or something. Um, you can maybe get your, your lodging for free. Be like, hey, I'll pay for my meals, but get my lodging for free. Um, it's, it's just a negotiation tactic, and you can definitely... 
uh, make your money go further when you're traveling, when you negotiate, um, when you know how to read scams, when you, you know, you just double check. But anyway, I don't want to go off the off topic too far. But Nepal is just a super beautiful place to go. They have uh, beautiful mountains. You got Mount Everest. You can go up to base camp. You can do meditations. You can do all these hikes. You can go whitewater rafting. There's just so much outdoor stuff to do in Nepal. And if you want to get gear, you can get all your gear. In, in Kathmandu and at a lot of the hostels people often leave a bunch of extra gear for other people to, to take for traveling and you when you when you don't you're going from Nepal to India which is much harder you can leave your cold gear there someone else can take it and um, it's kind of a lot of hostels have that kind of sharing mentality. Alright guys, this has been some of the, the cheap places to travel in 2019 around the world. Hope you guys liked it. This channel is NST Never Stop Traveling. Um, I do video video logs and I do uh, a lot of like how to's and travel hacks uh, if you like this content and you want to see more of it subscribe or check out some of my other playlists and some of my other videos on the channel NST otherwise guys take care and have a great day peace out